Okay, with Pokemon Legend Z now in the works, I figure what better game to start talking about it in than its predecessor, Pokemon Legends Arceus. And yes, I am running around like a chicken with my head cut off here because uh, I'm just trying to get a stinking thing to spawn and it doesn't want to. Always fun. Ugh. Now, uh, fortunately, because I decided to hold off a little bit before giving my P's and Q's about this, uh, yeah, people have already started speculating on what Pokemon Legends ZA is going to be. Yeah, a lot of people missed the uh, A at the end of it, which I find funny. It's like, okay, you start thinking about it. The ZA could have stand for zero to all. Who knows, though? I'm gonna have to wait to find out more at this point. But I find it funny there. I'm watching some other people talk about, like, oh, could this be what the game is gonna be? And honestly, some folks believe, oh, hey, it's gonna be in the future because it said uh, redesign of Luminous City. I just fricked up the name, didn't I? Uh, <clears throat> oh well, basically Lumia City, they're trying to claim, oh hey, it's going to be in the future, and some people are like, yeah, it's going to be in the future because uh, Paris, France, the place, the, you know, in-game location is, is trying to update to be more green, I'm like, it ain't going to be greener, pal, but that's politicking, and I don't do that on this channel. More so because trying to convince people, oh hey, building a dam is not going to be as green as just building a 40 acre power plant. But that's on me, okay? I'm the outsider in this situation. Anyways, a lot of people are speculating and I'm sitting here like, if it's a Legends style game, like this one, it's going to have to be set in the past or the present. And funny thing, we honestly can't tell. And that's actually a good thing, because who knows, it could be set just prior to the Lumio City we've gone through in the Pokemon X and Y games. Which, hey, that's not a... Alright, that thing's dead. Mm. That's not a bad thing. More so because it kind of shows, oh hey, here's what we can do. This is what we can't do. But then again, there's one thing that kind of ticks me off about everybody speculating on what this game is going to be. They're all like, oh, it's going to be based on Zygarde. It's going to be based on Zygarde. If it's... You know, like Pokemon Legends, how the hell are you supposed to end up in the past? Zygarde doesn't have any control over space or time. In fact, if you pay attention to the uh, XY trio, uh, yeah, their whole shtick is life, death, and the in-between. You know, life, death, and balance, there. That time I said it correctly. But still it's just a balancing act so it wouldn't make sense for it to be based in the past you know not like this game where quite literally the guy who summons you has dominion over space time and distortion and decided to split up his roles to his kids yeah terrible parenting huh I don't know. It just feels weird when people are like, oh, Pokemon Z is going to be the next big game. And I'm sitting here like, I really do not think that's going to be the case. Oh, what do I got to catch? How the hell have I not caught a Wormadam before? Ugh. But yeah. That's kind of getting to be where I'm sitting on this. Everybody's given an opinion, but nobody's backing it up with crucial facts. Like I said, the uh, whole thing about the redesign being in the future. Everybody's using that because of that digital 
you know, wallpaper, and it's like, uh, that could be, or it could be a message or format for electricity and heat. Because if you look, the Pokemon all have different colorings, and the people, you know, it could have just been a format of saying, oh, hey, here's the electricals running through the buildings and all this other stuff. You never know. And that's the fun part about this. It's like watching this whole trailer, which I found funny. It's like the trailer itself was amazing. In fact, I was shocked when the whole thing happened because I'm like, wait a minute. I was expecting like, okay, standard stuff of, oh, here's this, here's that. Not, oh, we're going to release a brand new game next year and shock the heck out of people which hopefully and I'm gonna say it that way hopefully they actually take the time to develop the game and not just say oh screw you we're just gonna make the game how we want it and then work on the next mainline no no take the time work on it actually make it good like hell Pokemon Legends here this is a great game, but it does kind of feel like at times, oh yeah, we could have made this game so much better. And that's honest opinion right there. Like, this game could have been made so much better if they just took, like, say, an extra month or two to finish it. Now, is that saying, oh hey, a game is bad if then it comes out fast? No. But it couldn't be as good as it could have been. And that just sounded like me trying to double talk, so I'm done with that conversation. Wait, what did I not have room for? Oh well. But yeah, a lot of people are speculating on what the game is going to be based on, and I'm sitting here like, we have one trailer with the term redesign of the city. Which. Again, using the whole concept of what that means, it could just mean, oh hey, we're going to rebuild the city. This could be a first, you know, creating it into the city like what we see in the game. Because you got to realize, it's based on Paris, France. After a certain point, they had to destroy the entire city to build electricals in it. And if that's the case, that could be what's going on here. And, as I said, it's all about what everything has. So, it could be, oh hey, we've pissed off Zygarde because we're building the Lumios, yeah, the Lumios power plant. Man, can I just say, hey city at this point, because this is becoming annoying. Ugh. But yeah, basically, it could just be because, oh hey, the city's power plant got built, and... Yeah, we pissed off the freaking legendary. Who knows? Heck, this could be in a time where it's like, oh hey, the gym leaders are just barely starting to come into a play. You know, you never know truly what's going on. Hell, we could end up freaking in a time period where Ramos is still a young buck and trying to create his own gym. You never know. And that's the fun part about this. In fact, I'm going to start blocking on both reddit and discord any of the terms linking to this game because i want to i'm going to watch like two or three more trailers for it and then i am done i'm not i'm not touching anything pokemon for a while while this game is in development because i actually want to be surprised i want to see where this game can go and honestly i think a lot of people should join on that one because Let's face it, this game, Hell Legends right here, what I'm playing, this is a great game. And I did not watch or see anything outside of like one or two trailers. Maybe the release of a Hisuian Pokemon like when the Voltorb was announced. But outside of that, I didn't know what to expect with this game. And I enjoyed it. Whereas with, like, Scarlet and Violet, I literally predicted, oh, hey, past and future. 
Because, of course, go figure. Time machine in the background. And everybody goes nuts. Now, was I honestly expecting it to be a case of, oh, hey, here's a guy who's dead. No, no, honest to God, I was not expecting that. That was a nice little plot twist. Until I started reading the comments. Well, not comments. Basically, reading the in-game lore a little bit, and then I'm like, hey. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, dude, I'm sorry for calling you an A, but uh, I think your folks are dead. Uh, but yeah, I just, I like that concept, you know, you never have to see everything. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of excited if you can't tell. I waited for the dust to settle and yet, even I'm still just sitting here like, I want more. Tell me more. And who knows, we could dig up a hundred things on just that trailer alone. But it doesn't really mean crap when you realize, hey, the game is going to be good no matter what we think. As long as, you know, we can find the good parts of the game, that's all we need. And honestly, I just, I can't wait. It feels like it's going to be a good game. But who knows? We have thought the same thing about other games, and they went terrible. So, hopefully we don't end up with that case, but you never know. I think I'm going to call it there. Hope to see you guys next time. And remember, be wild!